Hello everyone. So tonight I just wanted to show you how to perform the static analysis of a malware or try to extract the strings in a file which can actually help us to be able to understand the type of a malware during malware classification. So we will be using the utility called strings. So strings is actually very crucial or it plays the integral part in malware analysis um, as well as reverse engineering in computer forensics. So we will utilize the strings utility. There are as many tools that have this particular type of module or this uh, functionality. If you can launch your Ghidra, you will still find that every malware analysis uh, tool or every reverse engineering tool has got strings. So which implies that this plays integral part in as far as malware analysis and classification is concerned. So now we will launch strings and then try to go to its manual so we can be able to check how we can utilize this tool. So now um, uh, let me try to um, man strings so we've got a manual of strings it can tell us what this tool is actually capable of <coughs> so in your time you can be in you can be able to utilize this uh, manual in order to know more than i have just tell, told you but um if you one one of the th things that you need to know is the gnu um, license behind this tool which implies that the tool is free so you can be able to make use of it without thinking of any money or any uh, premium subscription so for now what we can do is to open another terminal and then try to strings strings then help so we can see that we can scan a file in order to attain the printable information information that is actually readable from that file or from that program because we know that usually malware is in a form of an executable or any other file type but uh, most of or we can we can scan any type of a file using this utility so which means now what we we can be able to do if you remember in our channel we have been working with uh, WannaCry malware so i wanted to demonstrate to you on how to use strings in order to check for the functionality of that particular malware we will use those uh, files and as well as any other uh, c++ program that i <coughs> i'm so sorry there is a bit of influence here so um any other there is a c++ program that i implemented so i just wanted to show you how to use strings on that l file so um we can move to desktop so that when we are at the desktop we can try to see uh, let's grab the word simple so that we can know then we've got this uh, simple program so we can file um, simple program so that we can be able to know the file type of this uh, we can see that it's an elf 64 bit file which means because this was implemented by me i know that it's a c plus plus program now what we can do is to sort of strings um only strings to this file simple program then we can be able to see as much information as possible so we can try to sort of filter uh, in order to make sure that we have at least the readable text apart from things that are not necessary in this uh, in this program now we can see that 
uh, there is this information here then we can see TMC and um, so we need to try to sort of strings um, let me check uh, let me check okay now we we've got the number which is what we want so which means we can strings uh, pass n and then at least from six so we can be able to sorry so that we can be able to simple program now we tried to minimize the number of characters to six at least six characters so now let's um let's try to see what we can be able to attain from this program because it can be able to see now you can see there is sort of uh, a standard c++ library here then we you can also see the libgcc usage here which implies that you either have a c or a c++ uh, anything to do with C or C++ then you can also see some libraries in relation to the compilation of this program otherwise you can be able to see the the sentence enter name enter age you can you cannot come to fault you qualify to fault which means this will hint you whether this is a faulty program or something to do with voting so if you have got the strings behind this then you can tell us some story about this program so that we can be able to to know uh, during static analysis now uh, I think you can be able to grasp the concept behind the usage of this program from here I just wanted us to I just wanted us to navigate to our WannaCry directory so that we can be able to make use of strings so we can be able to identify some certain artifacts that we can be able to see now <clears throat> let's go to videos I remember putting it to videos uh, labs now let me ls here now we've got uh access mems um i think we can start by trying to view the memory locations of those executables that you remember i will i will i will i will make you uh try to remember the 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 there is a video that I remember making on memory forensics of uh, a WannaCry ransomware. So now we can cd into MEMS. Now that we are into MEMS, let's try here. Now we've got these two DMP files. So now what we can do is to strings. Um, <coughs> let's come here or oh, let let's not just let's just go to this dropper and then we just grabbed the dot onion if there was anything to do with a dot onion now we can identify some domains um, because we remember that WannaCry was using the tow relay for for command and control some uh, flavors of WannaCry in 2017 were using the tow relay in order to establish the command and control center if you remember well now what we can also do is to try to grab because piping will help us filter this um this uh, uh artifacts that we want uh, we can also try to check whether it was using cmd.exe now we can see uh, there are some commands that this malware was actually running right here but if you wanted to just do some raw strings 
um, without grabbing anything here what we can do was to also find this so that we can go up 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 and then try to find anything or any information remember i said i have some small flu here if i'm coughing please uh, bear with me right here <coughs> now um we we can identify as much information as possible so we need to try to sort of grab or try to pipe this information so that we can actually find the relevant artifacts forensically now or what we can do is to try to find if there is anything to find right here then we we can type um cmd dot exe now we can see that there is a usage of cmd uh then there is somewhere it has to start something and you can also see those files that we saw when we were using volatility framework and then we can also identify those mutexes if you remember what i said about the mutex you still remember well in that video or you can go back to that video and then uh, remember what i said about the mutex now um we can see as much information as possible then you can see a command that was run by this malware as well as this um, registry uh, key information right here so there is as much information as possible that you can attain using strings please if you like this video please like share and subscribe to this channel in order to make me make more content thank you guys for watching this tutorial